Hello all, so in last video we created three different store procedures in order to load respective dimension tables. Now in this video we are going to see how can we populate the data into date dimension. Now why date dimension is needed? Uh, that particular thing we are going to see like use of this date dimension we are going to see when we will actually create a multi-dimensional cube using SSS. But in this video we are going to see how can we populate the data into date dimension. Now there are multiple ways by which you can populate the data. So if you Google it, you can find out and I have just mentioned these two particular links. Uh, I mean, if you open these links, you will see uh, a simple uh, SQL code or maybe a small stored procedure, uh, which tells you like how to populate the Georgian calendar data into respective tables. But for this video concern, we are going to uh, use a very simplest approach using Excel sheet. Uh, so these are the columns which I, go I am going to have in my date dimension. So these are the columns. Okay. Now for each particular column, I have mentioned the Excel formula here. Okay. So calendar date is my, uh, maybe the main date or main data you can say, which will manually create it in Excel. And uh, for remaining columns, uh, with the help of this calendar date, we are going to populate the data. And these are the respective, uh, Excel formula for that. I will show you how can we populate the data in that. Another thing is, if I go back, you will see here date dimension key. Now what that key is, now if I go back to my star schema model, that date dimension key will actually refer into my fact table. And we'll see that at the time of populating the employees dimension, I, I will tell you how that date dimension key is helpful. So let's uh, go and uh, create these uh, Excel formulas uh, right now. So very first column, which we'll see here is, or if I go back, the very first column is date dimension key. So I will open my Excel and I will give date dimension key. Date dimension key is again a Excel formula. Like if you see here, this is the formula for generating the date dimension key. But uh, the manually we are going to create this uh, calendar date as I have specified here. So I will go here, I will create a second column, calendar date and uh, I will give Okay, another thing is like how much data we need, like max and minimum data we need in our date dimension. So that depends on our business need. So if I go back and if I query this employees table, so uh, we have only one date in employees table that is higher date. Okay, and minimum date uh, we have is 2001 and max date we have having is 2008. So what we'll do for our uh, business need, uh, in date dimension, we are going to add minimum date as 2000 and max date at let's say 2020. Okay, so what I will do to, to 2000 hyphen 01 hyphen 01. So this is the first date and I will simply drag it. Okay, Excel will identify that it's a date and we have to, uh, it will increment automatically. So I will just drag it and I will stop when it reaches to 2020. Uh, December 31st. So it's 2003, 2004. It will take a while. Seven. Nine. Ten. Twelve, thirteen. So this is only manual task. Remaining uh, data, uh, column data will populate with the help of uh, Excel formulas. So only this thing will take some time. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's fine. All right, we'll stop here. Now the next, if let me go back and the next is month ID. Month ID and the formula as you can see here equal to B2. And just double click. All right, after that month description and the formula for that is Uh, quarter ID. 
let me populate this so how we are determining the quarter like if it is c1 c2 c3 like if this is 1 2 3 it's quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 likewise okay and uh, this is i am just appending the qtr with this quarter id and quarter description uh, year id uh, week number or day number in a week so it is again based on column i that will populate afterwards so day week description okay and let me populate this first and this later all right next is day number in a month and day number in a year Alright, week number in a year. And year month. So combination of year and month. Alright, and calendar date. I will tell you what this column is. There is no formula here. I will tell you why. And the finally is the date dimension key. So this date dimension key will go here. Okay. So this is nothing but uh, 200103. Nothing but this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I have made a mistake here. It has to be two. It has to be two to be two 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 yeah this is fine so let's just look at our data one more time so let's look at this so it's second february second february let me mark this as table so we'll get to know the headers yeah this is fine Okay, let me look at 2nd February. Month ID is 2nd, that is correct. Month description is February. It's a first quarter. Quarter 1 description is correct. Year ID is 2010. Sorry, 2000. Uh, number of week. Day number of week. Okay. Let me check this formula. This is correct. Day number day number in a week so it's a tuesday let me check once again february 2010 2000 okay and february and it's first it's a third day that is correct it's a Tuesday. Uh, day number in a month, first day, that is correct. Day number in a year, 32, that is correct. Week number in a year, 6, that is also correct. Year, month, uh, this is fine. All right. And yeah, this is fine. Now, just one thing which is pending is, so this is also correct let me go at very end to, to, to this, this is fine so only one thing which is pending is populating this calendar date now why this calendar date is needed let me change this to change this format to okay i will go to custom and i will change this format to yyy hyphen mm hyphen dd okay 
now uh, if i need to prepare an insert statement i need to add single quotes into that okay we'll see that how it will appear so now the we have populated this table except this particular column we'll see how to populate this one now once this is done we just need to prepare an insert statement so i will what i will do i will go here and i will add an insert statement let's say insert into and i will grab this guy insert into this i need to specify columns so what i will do i will copy all these things okay i will use this and replace slash n with null replace all carriage written with null replace all and one last thing we'll do is we'll replace these spaces as well replace replace all okay somehow it's not going okay this is fine all right so i will copy this guy and paste now very first okay and equal to concat single quote comma date dimension key comma single quote comma all right and i will simply drag this guy here okay so very first column is date dimension key let me go back to the script date dimension key after that calendar date now this is the reason uh, i left out that calendar date look at this date even though over here in excel the calendar date is appearing actual date when it changes into formula it's coming as some number okay uh, we will we'll, uh, rectify that after that the next is month id uh, month id month description which is correct uh, after that quarter id quarter description that is fine uh, uh, year id which is fine uh, number of number of, uh, day number in a week which is fine actual day description day number in a month okay day number in a year uh, week number of a year and finally the year month which is fine okay now we don't need comma here we need to close the bracket yeah that's fine only thing is we have to change this with this guy now why this number is appearing because in excel even though it's showing that as a uh, actual date behind the scene it's considered as a date okay so what we'll do i will copy this guy entirely all these records i will go into my spreadsheet okay i will manually add single quotes and comma single quotes i need to add single quotes at very end single quotes and comma perfect okay just these records single quotes comma okay i will copy all these records and what i will do i will add it here okay now instead of column b i will use column n so i will go back and what i will do okay let me yeah and instead of calendar date what i will use i will use this calendar date calendar underscore date okay this is perfect okay and we don't need these because we already added that yeah perfect 
now i just need to how many rows we have here uh, 7707 so i will just drag it i will drag entire thing or 7700 something Seven thousand seven hundred and zero seven, I suppose. Yeah, perfect. So our insert script is ready. I will simply uh, copy this script now, and I will. Uh, okay, before that, I haven't created the date dimension as yet. So what I will do, I will just copy the date dimension script, and. Let me open a new window. Perfect. And I will copy my insert statements now. Uh, okay. So there is a problem. What I will do? Language S SQL and I will replace uh, this guy with insert replace all okay and I also need to replace this guy So what I will do, uh, I also forgot to write values. So I'll use this. This is perfect. Okay, replace all. Sweet. Okay, so I think our query is ready. Okay, let me copy this guy and let's run. Let's see what happens. running okay it's completed it should have 7700 some records so if I count this guy I should see 7000 yeah 7706 that's fine now what I will do I will simply execute select star select star from All right, so date dimension key is this calendar date, uh, month description, quarter ID, quarter description, year ID, uh, number of uh, day in a week. So let's look at our February 1st data, which we already validated. So this is fine. Second month, February quarter, it's first quarter. It's the third day in a week. It's a first day in a month, uh, 30, 31st, 32nd day in a year. Uh, week number uh, it's a sixth week yeah that is correct year month so perfect so uh, we populated our date dimension and uh, in the next video we are going to populate so out of all these dimensions we already populated remaining uh, all dimension except employee dimension so in the next video we are going to see how can we populate employees dimension okay thank you for watching this video